Microsoft just dropped a massive surprise that's a dream come true for indie devs and AI engineers. Few hours ago, they made GitHub Copilot. Yes, the tool that helped ignite the AI coding revolution, fully open source under the MIT license. That means you can now clone it, tweak it, and even build your own billion dollar spinoff, all without risking legal drama. Oh, and that's not all. They also open sourced the Windows subsystem for Linux. Huge. Why does this matter? Because for the past couple of years, one of Silicon Valley's favorite pitches has been an AI-powered junior dev in your IDE. Startups have raised millions by duct taping large language models to VS Code forks. Cursor is now worth $9 billion. Windsurf just got snapped up by OpenAI for $3 billion. And while open source projects like Void Editor are emerging, nothing touches the dominance of VS Code, the reigning code editor king for nearly 10 years. So, why would Microsoft give away something this valuable for free? That's what we're digging into today. It's May 20th, 2025. You're watching The Code Report. And the timing of this move? Let's just say, suspiciously strategic. See, Microsoft and OpenAI used to be tight. Exclusive model training on Azure. Big money. But recently, Microsoft ended that arrangement. Then boom, OpenAI rolls out Codex, a cloud-based coding agent nearly identical to GitHub agent mode, which Microsoft just announced months ago. And now, Microsoft reveals it's building Copilot deeper into GitHub and even Windows 11 through the model context protocol, effectively. Handing AI the keys to the OS. Huge for devs. Huge for hackers. Because in the AI race, the real prize isn't just software. It's the devs. According to Anthropic's recent report, devs make up the majority of people actually paying for LLM tools. And OpenAI? They've been slipping. Buying Windsurf for 3B was their play to regain traction. But the timing? Painful. If they had waited just a few days, they could have grabbed Copilot's open source version for free. But don't get it twisted. This isn't just Microsoft. Flexing on Sam Altman? Historically, every time they go open source, it pays off. TypeScript, VS Code, even MS-DOS. The move usually strengthens their ecosystem. Still, this is different. Copilot's a subscription product, $390 a year. So what's the catch? Well, when you pay for Copilot, you're really paying for cloud compute, not the underlying software. Open sourcing it allows for faster innovation, community contributions, and feature rollouts, without ballooning Microsoft's payroll. Which, by the way, just got a haircut. 6,000 engineers laid off, including some seasoned veterans. So yes, Microsoft could use some free help. And for devs, it's a win-win. You get to build, remix, monetize, and improve Copilot in ways that are impossible on closed platforms like Cursor or Windsurf. Not to mention, you'll benefit from transparency and rapid patching of security issues. At the end of the day, this is a huge win for developers and a smart, calculated move from Microsoft.